Time for some real talk now about Jonathan Gruber. We've heard the Obamacare advisor boast about deception used to hide the true nature of the health care law, including taxes. Our next guest, Ohio Congressman Mike Turner, pinning him down. Mr. Gruber, do you know what a tax is? I mean, you, you do have, you know, ec expertise in economics. Do you know what a tax is? Yes. Okay. So you would not deny today that in these statements that you made that Obamacare is a tax, would you? Obamacare is a large piece of legislation with many parts. And, and is one of those parts a tax, Mr. Gruber? There, there are some taxes in Obamacare, well, yes. Ohio's Mike Turner is a Republican on the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee and my guest. Why is it so tough in these hearings to get people to just answer the questions plain and simple? Did you get a satisfactory answer about the tax from Jonathan Gruber? And not really. What, what Jonathan Gruber is saying, which is we all now know and suspect it, is that the administration intentionally deceived the American public. We saw that when the president was arguing that this wasn't a tax while before the Supreme Court, the president was arguing it was a tax. But here Gruber has said up front this is a tax and that we didn't tell the American voter, the American public, because it would have been objectionable, that we drafted the, the legislation so we could avoid a CBO scoring. And the thing that he wouldn't tell us is, is okay, who told you that? Who did you sit with in the administration ah. and who had that discussion with? about how we'd go, they would set about deceiving the American public. Well, since that certainly is objectionable. And that is an incredibly important piece of information. Listen to this. Did they have the conversation with you that it had to be drafted in a way that the CBO did not score the individual mandate as taxes? Anyone in the administration, acknowledge it, explain it, or assign aspects to you within that construct. I don't, You're under oath. I honestly do not recall. Wow. That's convenient to say people don't recall, right? What do you think? Right. Well, I think he does recall, and that's why we caught him, you know, in casual conversation and at conferences on tape, openly saying that he was part of the deception, that the Obama administration, you know, worked to deceive the American public, and then now he's saying, oh, no, I, now that I'm in front of you, I want to apologize for insulting the American voter. I didn't mean to call people stupid. But the substance of what he said is that this deception occurred goes right to the heart of the inner workings of uh, the Obama administration and Obamacare. You know, even Democrats today during the hearing, Congressman, uh, seem to be really upset about this guy because they even said that he handed, you know, everything on a silver platter to the Republicans in this entire argument, right? Right, because he did two things. He not only insult, insulted the voter by calling them stupid, he then told us how they deceived us, that there was a, a, a coordinated effort in the administration to deny that this was a tax, to get around the aspects of the tax. This was not an accident. This was an active case of deception. All right, so I understand that Jonathan Gruber is coming back to another hearing. What more do you need? What do you want from him? Well, I think he needs to come up, you know, front and tell us, well, who did he work with? You know, we all know that he says he did this, you know, complex calculating, which actually just sounded like he put together a tax. But who did he work with? Who are the people in the administration that we can pull forward and say, hey, this is what he says about this. Is that true? Were you involved in this? Why was this put together in a way to deceive the American public? Because it certainly shows that in many aspects, not only just the quality of care under Obamacare, but also the fees and tax under Obamacare, uh, the, story, the, the administration did not tell the truth. All right. Well, let me know if you come up with those people who actually admit that they know Thanks. him, because uh, <laughs> a lot of those politicians said, Jonathan who? We've never heard exactly. of this guy. Uh, Congressman Mike Turner, we know who you are. You're a Republican from Ohio, and we thank you for thank your time. You. Thanks, sir. Thank you so much.